And Swerve slaps him and signs, but Hangman stabs him in the hand with a pen. And uh, I thought the show was over. And I thought, well, that was a strange way to end the show. I thought this segment was great, by the way. I thought that Swerve was Listen. great. I thought that Hangman was great. Probably would have thought it was better if you knew what they were talking about, Vinny. That would have helped. Well, I was not I, expecting I, well, a stabbing, listen, however. I, did, I, did not, I didn't dislike the segment at all. I just thought it was. this was a very, very vocal, uh, intensive episode of Dynamite. It sure was. I was talking up and there down There was the show. a lot of talking on yeah. this show. But yes, as a promo, it was very good stuff. But before we're done, we rush to the back where a quartet of men in black no, bodysuits... No, no, no. Oh, you've already messed up. You've already messed up. Jay White is being killed, Vinny. Yes, that's okay. Okay. Mm. And uh, there's men dressed in black beating his ass. Okay. Okay. That's all I got. Yeah, yeah. Now there's three guys actively beating his ass. I see. There is a fourth guy Mm -hmm. in the corner. Right. And then they pan to the side uh, to end the show. There is a man in MGF's devil mask. So you're telling me there are five guys total. And he looks at the okay, camera. Okay, counted. And he kills the feed, okay? Yeah. Now, obviously, you know, the guy in the MGF devil mask, well, you know, this whole Jay White MGF thing earlier in the show. Was it MJF? In the MJF devil mask that did this. And, you know, everybody's... I forget who said it today. Maybe it was Semper Bibi. It's like there's a Bruder film. Everybody's, like, trying to figure out who's who and what's what. Sure. And, you know, we we just watched that NWA TNA, and it doesn't matter who was who in the masks. Like, whoever it is at the end is whoever it's going to be. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. It's, but It's like the bullet on TNA, where it's very clearly not the road dog at first, but yes. eventually the road dog. Yes, yeah. yes. But one thing I know for sure, I don't know for sure... I shouldn't say that. I would say with 99% certainty that one of these men was Roderick Strong. Mm. Because if you watch Roderick Strong, he has a he has a way of moving. Like, you can see him moving, walking. I've watched him for, uh, well, like two decades or whatever. Yes, yes. And one of these dudes in the black bodysuit, I mean, you can't tell me it wasn't Roderick Strong. Okay, so then you think, all right, well, Roddy was one of the guys beating this dude down. And then there were two other guys. One of them was tall so roderick strong mike bennett matt Taven. sure yeah. okay now i don't i am not giving anybody any inside information because i have absolutely no earthly idea where this is going but this is what i thought when i watched it there's two other men okay there's two other men do you remember when they were on that boat i do i do And MGF went for that ring. Mm -hmm. And this guy here says, what's going to happen when Adam Cole watches this show back? Remember that? I do remember that. Okay. Okay, Remember those, uh, you know, at that time where Adam Cole, he he hugged MGF and he dug that knife into his back? That's true, yes. Yeah. Remember that time when Adam Cole teased super kicking Max and Max turned around and caught him? Yeah. Remember that? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, where, what have we what have we been talking about for the last two months now? Who is going to turn on who, right? Right. Is MJF going to turn on Adam Cole, or is Adam Cole going to turn on MJF? It's all we've been talking about. And both guys have teased that they are going to turn on each other, right? Sure. Well, here's something I didn't consider. What if the five guys in masks were the kingdom, Adam Cole, and MJF. Indeed. And in fact, these two fuckers are both heels. They are both planning Mm -hmm. to take this place over. And they are trying to convince you that one or the other is going to turn on the other. So I don't know if that's where they're going to go here, but there were definitely five guys, and, uh, and you were certainly supposed to believe that one of them was MJF, and, uh, you know, I thought that was a rather interesting way that you could potentially go because uh, a lot of this stuff would actually make sense if they're both actually in cahoots sure. as two evil fuckers. Uh, yes, they're, they're both going to turn on everybody. Yes. Which I think at some point in the past summer, I said is what I wanted to happen. <laughs> but regardless, there is that possibility. 
There's uh, the possibility of other guys who've been feuding with Jay White. He's made lots of enemies here in Collision and around the world, in fact. Uh, there's also the fact that it's been a uh, rough week for employment in the world of wrestling. That's true. And there's Could be anybody. a lot of names who didn't work for AEW last week who uh, may be coming in soon. So there's a zillion possibilities where this could go. See, Sean here goes, they're going to let this thing play out for six months. Cole is actually injured. You're right. But if they're just going to have Cole turn on MGF or MGF turn on Cole, or they're both in coots, it doesn't matter what you do. You still have to wait till he comes back. So it doesn't matter. And I mean, you know, Cole can be an evil, diabolical fucker on crutches. Absolutely. I mean, he doesn't have to wrestle. So anyway. So that was Dynamite. And then this person goes, and then Jay White is a babyface. I don't think he's ready for that role. Well, he was put in a babyface position. He was beat by five men. I don't know what they're going to do, but... He cut a great promo about yeah. how awesome he was. The crowd was into him. Uh, he was absolutely put in a babyface position here. And I'm pretty sure this crowd would have... The, the AEW audience would be just fine cheering for Bullet Club Gold. Exactly. I mean, if you I watch think, Bullet Club Gold... I, I mean, they're half baby faces fine, now. Yes. So, there you go. Well, we'll see what they end up doing. But. There's a zillion possibilities, all of which are intriguing. So that was, That's what I like about it. It was a very good angle for and like 30 seconds of TV time. Yeah. So, well done. Well done. I'm calling it Down Granny's Memory Lane. Are you oh. reading from your memoirs? Yes. No, no, okay. no. That's past. Oh, okay. This yeah, is new stuff. This is more up to date. You know, I'm I see. More... Okay. This is the more recent stuff. Yeah, new old stuff. I just. No, said. no, okay. no, no. The <laughs> New Testament. Everyone let her go. We lived on a farm 10 miles east of Baker. More and... recent, you say? <laughs> I was going to say, this isn't new. No, this is old. It's old. Okay. Okay. Who said new? I didn't say new. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we're just going to be quiet. And you... Am I out of my mind? No. <laughs> yes, we're all out of our minds. <laughs> now I'm upset. No, stop. I'll, I, I'm fining Vinny. Vinny, you're being fined $100. Oh. It was Martell's and Hebes. Hebes? One is Martell. <laughs> the Hebes. The Hebes. And the Hebes only had one daughter named Alice. Yeah. What's so funny about the name? The Hebes? The daughter Alice, uh, she knew how to yodel, and she was what, what she'd call... Nowadays, a rebel. The yodeling rebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Granny, if I may interrupt, what did they call her back then? Alice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I wasn't going to like this segment, Granny? <laughs> this is the best segment we've had on the show in years. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.